shall we all turn the word of god to the book of joel chapter 2 verse 27 would you somebody read it for me joel 2 27 and he shall know that i am in the midst of israel and that i am the lord your god and none else and my people shall never be ashamed amen praise the lord glory to god then you will know that i am in israel that i am the lord your god and that there is no other never again will my people be ashamed be shamed amen topic of today's message is never for ever you are my dear children of god when the spirit of the lord has given this topic i was wondering because in the same word never this ever word is present amen hallelujah glory to god so i am so happy the lord wants to say to us in such a way that never again will my people be shamed the lord spoke to me that most of you are under trials and problems and under challenges satan puts challenges against the children of god in many many ways sometimes the sickness in the body to affect to affect our health is a big challenge which made by satan sometimes enemies around us are the big challenges my dear children of god don't you know that as far as the lord is with you never you be put to shame yeah never you will be ashamed today the lord wants to bring the good news unto all of you my dear children of god that you will never be put to shame you will never be ashamed because god has ordained you as you are his people to be his people is something different are we the people of god Amen glory to God praise the lord my dear children of god we should be the people of god always amen hallelujah all the earthly things will be perished away all things that we see in this world will definitely gone away but the word of the lord will never be perished my dear children of god cheer up yourselves and go with peace just speak to yourselves my god is in me my god is with me he will undertake me whatever the problems that may be sit in me put big 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 challenges but i need not to bother about it because i am his people i am his child i am the child of god and therefore i have a boldness to say that the lord will take care of me praise the lord hallelujah glory to god one king was there in a palace and there was an occasion for him one day to celebrate his birthday see if our birthday comes up upon our life every year we are so happy and we invite our fellow brethren and we invite our neighbors we invite our relations to celebrate the birthday with all uh, you know uh, with all gentleness and that would be so pleasant isn't it if we could able to celebrate our birthday as such how far the king's birthday would be so it was so fantastic and so good with all princes and lords and all authorities and all higher authorities and all government authorities everybody were in the big audience there were very big uh, hall of the palace all people were with precious precious gifts and the king was so happy and he was receiving the gifts one by one from the people there who came there and in that uh, happy occasion an old man came there with a gift it was so fantastic 
the old man what he gave you know he gave a small palm leaf scroll palm leaf scroll he came to the king by saying o king when you are sad you can open this palm leaf scroll and read the word that will be so encouraging to you and such a way when you are happy also you can read the word in the other side of the palm leaf scroll and this king was astonished but anyway he honored the gentleman because he is a citizen of that land he has the right to present a gift to the king so he was so happy and he said hello old gentleman thank you very much something like that he said and he took the palm leaf scroll and he kept safely though he could keep all the gifts which were given by all the people there were kept safely in the palace this gift alone was something special to him because he said you know that while you were sad you can read the word and while you are happy also you can read that word so he was so happy and he kept it so secretly okay days passed by a big battle came and during that battle time this king was defeated he was so sad he could not sleep all the night and the whole kingdom of that a uh, king was full of worries and sorrows because they were defeated the king in the middle in the night he recollected how the old gentleman said when you are sad you can read a verse you can read a word which has been written down in the palm leaf scroll there so he ordered to take that palm leaf scroll and uh, he opened it and he read the first page where a word was written as this too will pass away what's the word this too will pass away that is all the word really that was so helpful for him and uh, that was a good console to him because this defeat will go away do not worry about that you have been defeated this will pass away is the real sense of it so he was so happy after reading that oh that old man did so wisely he could able to recollect it and then he kept the same scroll happily in a safe place and in the morning he was so alert and he was so smart he was not bothering at all he ordered everybody to come and gather and he cheered everybody up by saying that see we need not to bother about that we are defeated we will win again and he gave a wonderful speech okay the things are the things have gone like anything okay sometime later some days passed by and some months passed by again a big war was started against this country and this king now has to face the situation see my dear children of god this time this king was so happy because he got all success in his life and in the war he took victory and the whole kingdom was so happy he came there and he could recollect the old man's scroll he said you know well you are happy also you can read that scroll so he took that scroll and he read the other page do you know what word was there in the other page this too will pass away so yes, what is that that defeat you know at the time of defeat when i read the word 
the same word was there in the first page in the second page also the same word this two will pass away but anyway he consoled himself by saying okay so the life is with failures and success they are quite usual like that he consoled himself and he was so happy anyway he just thought within himself that you know we should not be happy when the happiness comes across in our life as far as we live in this earth both the happiness and sorrows should be dealt so equally like that he learnt a lesson see this example why should i bring before your, your attention you know i did children of god all things that we see in this earth will pass away will go away but the word of the lord will never pass away amen shall we all say hallelujah for that amen, amen. glory to god as you bring the word of the lord as you bring the promises of the lord in your life every day my dear children of god you will be the blessed personality this world don't think the millionaire is a blessed one don't think that a personality in this world who holds the highest responsibility is such a person no no only those who follow according to the word of the lord only those who read the word of the lord and only those who believe in the word of the lord are blessed people amen hallelujah yes you are the blessed people rather than the millionaires and the billionaires amen a god has given us such a pleasure okay right let's uh, proceed up to the other bible verse my dear children of god see there in joel 227 we have uh, read as such as an introduction as we proceed up to second corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 uh, see in the new international version a daughter princy you can read it second uh, corinthians 214 you can see the powerpoint presentation also now now thanks be unto god uh, which always causeth us to triumph in christ mm -hmm. and make it manifest the savior of his knowledge by us in every place amen glory to god praise the lord hallelujah in the king james version it see it so isn't it okay see now thanks unto thanks be unto god amen who all uh, which always leads us in the triumphal procession in Christ you know as our daughter has read in such a way see here in the NIV but thanks be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him amen praise the lord hallelujah my dear children of god see The Lord has given us the wonderful promise of saying that never again will my people be ashamed and that is why here through apostle Paul God has given us such a wonderful word by saying that but thanks be to God always amen shall we all say hallelujah for that hallelujah always is the word to be underlined my dear children of God forever and ever we should give thanks unto the lord because the lord our god uh, is enabling us to show the fragrance of the knowledge of the lord jesus christ and therefore my dear children he will lead us in the triumphal procession amen we will get victory after victory in this world when jesus is with us no more defeat amen glory to god are you depressed if then you just kneel down and lift your hands up and say praise the lord for what for the situations that you come across okay just yeah it is always better my dear children of god to face the situations whatever it may be as you start to praise the lord certainly 
the situation will be vanished away and instead of that the happiness will come and fill our hearts and minds amen glory to god in the blessing tv i used to wonder many times though it is in tamil uh, that i uh, you know uh, brother alan paul and sister sophia alan paul both of them have produced have composed thousand praises unto the lord and hundred praises unto the lord and something like that in the middle one day i was uh, you know led by the holy spirit to watch the whole uh, uh you know praise offerings unto the lord really you would wonder my teacher of god that was tearing up my heart like anything after reading them one by one one by one you know by saying praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord something like that you know with the verses that comes across my teacher of god that was so good to me why can't we practice it every day at the time of depression most probably my dear children of god try to do that at least 100 bible verses you by heart them and just say lord thank you for that verse praise you lord for that verse praise the lord for that bible verse something like that you know you say it continuously after saying 100 praises you will feel something so easy in your body lots touches there and that is why god has given us a wonderful word by saying that those who render the praise offerings are glorifying me yeah the wonderful praise offerings to the lord is the wonderful steps to glorify the name of the lord my dear children of god may the lord bless us to praise his holy name always and to take the victory so in the kj version king james version now thanks be unto god is written but in the new international version but thanks be to god is written my dear children why the word but and now is to be noted very carefully my dear children of god see never again will my people be ashamed but thanks be to god always that is the sense the same in the same way my dear children of god never again will my people be ashamed and now thanks be unto god always as we read in such a manner that will definitely cheer us up and that's our refreshes our minds and hearts together praise the lord hallelujah glory to god we are bound to give thanks unto the lord because he is the one to dwell in us my dear children okay now shall we go to the points i want to read the bible verses only which will help you prince will help uh, so that you know we can read the bible verses uh, and you can see the powerpoint presentation also see what should be our part to god forever you have seen never forever that is the topic of today's message okay never any worries forever amen glory to god you are forever forever and ever we should be happy always and no more worries that is a real sense of that topic okay and therefore the lord has given us a wonderful promise by saying never again will my people be shamed okay and as we read in second corinthians 2:14 but thanks be to god always we should give thanks to the lord always forever and ever we have to give thanks to the lord okay if it is the right duty for us to give thanks unto the lord forever and ever my dear children of god the lord expects from us something else what that part should be let's see from the verse uh, leviticus 6:13 in the book of leviticus chapter 6 verse 13 as we see there it is written as the fire shall ever be burning in the king james version it is like that daughter could you read that prince come on the fire shall never be burning upon the altar yeah. it shall never go out see 
Glory to God. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Shall we all say praise the Lord to that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. See the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. The Holy Spirit must be dwelling in our hearts all the time. Every day 24 hours we should be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh yes. Thank you so much my dear children of God. Okay. That is the part the Lord is expecting from us. Okay. As we proceed to the second point in Psalm chapter 15, in Psalm 15 verse 5 as we read there, what we see there, come on, um, uh, daughter of Prince, come on, read it. Who lends his money without usury yeah. and does not accept a bribe against yeah. the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken. Amen. He who does these things will never be shaken. Yeah. Who is that he? The one who lends his money without usury and does not accept a bribe against the innocent. That personality will never be shaken. Amen. Glory to God. That is the second part that the Lord is expecting from us. So, see first, ever is the word that should be on the line. And in the second uh, point, we see as never. Okay, right, never shaken. Right, then as we proceed to the third point, see there in the Proverbs chapter 27 verse 20, read it. Hell, hell and destruction are never full, yeah. so the eyes of man are never satisfied. Amen. Glory to God. Hell and destruction are never full. So, the eyes of man are never satisfied. See, my dear children of God, yeah, that is uh, the wonderful thing, my dear children of God, to note down. So, the eyes of man never be satisfied. So the eyes of man never be satisfied. Yeah, whatever we see, we think of getting it back soon for us. See, little children, if you notice them, as we take them to town hall or somewhere else, you know, when they see some of the beautiful things, at once they need them to be purchased. One day I have been to a shop where I have seen uh, chocolate with a different shape like an egg and it was so funny to look at see I am also like a child only sometimes you know when I come across with some sort of the chocolates and something like that I used to go and order some 25 some because I have a lot of children you know and therefore I have to give them all so what is the use of getting one chocolate and two chocolate bah! nothing so I will get everywhere when I go I will get some 25 chocolates or 50 chocolates or 100 chocolates and the shop owner will ask me sir this much that much children I have shall we all say amen hallelujah praise the Lord don't worry if you come to my house I'll give you one no 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 chocolate praise the Lord hallelujah so I have bought them so wonder it was the name also name of the chocolate also is wonder okay <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now you understand. My dear children of God. The same we see. The Lord wants us to love Him so much. My dear children of God. See as we see here in this point. My dear children of God. The eyes of man never be satisfied. In this world as far as we live. Whatever we see. Ah, that will be good no? That will be nice you know. What God has given unto us is enough, isn't it? The Lord has given us this dress, this is enough for me. And I don't want to have any <laughs> eye over anybody's dresses, isn't it? Whatever the Lord has provided, that is enough. Such a way, my dear children. See, some people, sometimes on the way, when they come across with beautiful, beautiful houses, at once they will just watch them. What a beautiful house it is. God has given us a little shelter. is enough. What the Lord has given to you is enough. Either small or big, whatever it is. Okay. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. Okay.
to hear the word never to be undertaken my dear my yes my dear children of god so we should not go according to our own uh, ways but at the same time we have to give ourselves to the lord we have to give our eyes unto the lord lord let my eyes may see thy word let my eyes may see thy personality in my vision let my eyes be opened to thy kingdom let my eyes may be opened to thy mysteries of father that should be our prayers but we should not pray in such a way lord let my eyes be opened to this world let my eyes wander here and there no no let us be satisfied with what we have okay as we proceed to the next point in the fourth point is see in matthew chapter 7 from the verse 21 to 23 uh we see the wonderful bible verses uh prince see, read it ma not everyone who says to me yeah. lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of my father who is in heaven many will say to me on that day yeah. lord did we not prophesy prophecy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles then i will tell them plainly i never knew you away from me you evil doers praise the lord see there not everyone that saith unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven when you children see here the lord is clearly pointing out some of the things and the lord has said to those who have said in such a way many will say unto me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then will i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity my dear children of god the lord should say unto us by saying that i always know you shall we all say hallelujah amen praise yeah the lord should say unto us in such a way i never knew you the lord should never say like that my dear children as soon as the lord see us he should say to us in such a way oh my son my daughter i know you how many that should be the retardation from the lord isn't it the lord should never say unto us by saying that i know you not i never know you see here it is very clearly written but everyone who says to me lord lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of my father who is in heaven may the lord enable us to do the will of the lord in our lives every day thus we can be satisfied okay as we proceed to the next bible word, next point in mark chapter 2 12 there we see a wonderful thought uh, read it uh, child he got up took his mat and walked out in full view of them all this amazed everyone and they praised god saying we have never seen anything like this amen praise the lord glory to god see my dear children of god we have never seen anything like this praise the lord hallelujah it's a wonderful miracle that the lord has performed we all know that miracle my dear children of god see from the first verse onwards in our cv as you proceed when jesus entered into capernaum after some days and it was noised that he was in the house and something like that it is written and in the third verse and they come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy which was born of four uh, and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof where he was and when they had broken it up they lay, let down the bed where in the sick of the palsy lay then jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy son thy sins be forgiven thee but there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts something like that you know we see there in the verse 12 it is written very clearly and immediately he arose took up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified god saying 
we never saw it on this fashion that is written in the new international version as we have never seen anything like this yes when the lord does some miracle that will be so amazing to us amen in your life it is so we see now also the same thing my dear children of god is there anyone in your house who are very sick and who are very weak don't bother just come down and pray unto the lord lord the same god who healed that man is still now here with us we love you father you should do a miracle of father all the people all the pharisees and sadducees they were always criticizing the lord jesus they were always following the lord to criticize him to show or to find any fault in jesus but they could never see any fault in jesus however they were amazed at jesus there that is the word that we see there okay so my dear children of god never forever okay as we proceed to the next point in mark chapter 329 there we see a wonderful bible verse uh, read it but, child okay. but he that shall blast me against the holy ghost mm. hath never forgiveness but is in danger of eternal damnation amen glory to god but whoever blasphemes against the holy spirit will never be forgiven he is guilty of an eternal sin see the lord said whatever the sins that are committed will be forgiven whereas the blaspheme the word of blaspheme against the holy spirit will never be forgiven amen so my dear children of god may the lord protect us not to say any you know word against the holy ghost okay that's a wonderful bible verse that we have to note down my dear children what so will never be forgiven is the word okay as we proceed to the next point we see in second peter chapter 1 verse 10 there what we see come on read it child therefore my brothers be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you will never fall ah, for if you do these things you will never fall amen hallelujah praise the lord you will never fall yes therefore my brothers be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you will never fall shall we all say amen to that amen praise the lord yeah we have to confirm our calling the lord has called us and that is why we have come here amen praise the lord glory to god okay my dear children see these seven points that we have right now seen are essential they are never forever okay as a conclusion what we see is the in joel chapter 2 verse 26 uh, prince read it you will have plenty to eat until you are full and you will praise the name of the lord your god mm. who has worked wonders for you never again will my people be shamed praise the lord here also the same word is there in the next two word also that word is covered up but however here something different you will have plenty to eat you will have how much plenty to eat <laughs> until you are full until my stomach is full shall we say hallelujah amen praise the lord don't worry eat well see god has given you everything so you should eat well there you will have plenty to eat until you are full and you will praise the name of the lord your god who has worked wonders for you never again will my people be shamed shall we all give our nice and big hands amen praise the lord hallelujah glory to god shall we all stand up together now amen yes my dear children of god god has given us the wonderful word by saying that never forever yeah 
you shall never be shamed you shall never be put to shame a god is with us you will never be ashamed because we are the people of god you are the people of god my dear children you shall never be ashamed but you have to praise god for ever and ever you should lead the life with god to walk with him forever and ever therefore my dear children of god understand the meaning of never and ever yes the lord jesus christ has said these seven points so that my dear children of god we can refresh ourselves every day with these bible verses yes as we read in the book of leviticus my dear children of god in the 6th chapter verse 13 the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar yes the fire represents here for the holy spirit may the lord fill you with the spirit and that my my dear children of god you can be filled by the holy spirit every day the lord needs you to shine for him amen wonderful lord thank you lord